welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, here's another one I'm gonna rock for my scent of tonight. Oh, wait, this is after I work out, after I shower, you know, that's why I put this on. Sometimes I use stuff like this, my workout scent when I'm doing my exercise and stuff like that. So I use this for a workout scent. But it's gonna be my scent of the night in most cases. This is Adidas Victory Lead. Victory Lead by Adidas. Alright. Now, uh, I haven't worn this a lot. As you can see, I worn it very little. Very little, but not a whole lot. Uh, this thing smells good. I'm spray it out because I haven't been sprayed in a minute. Just kind of get it used to pumping out. Now, this, this, um, it smells real good. This is smell to me kind of gourmandish. I would say if you um if you like gourmand fragrances like uh um let's uh, see if you like one million it's kinda got that vibe. It's kinda got like a to me it's got like a sugary sweet vibe, like a Kind of like a, like a frosty donut or something. It's got that vibe of sweetness. Smells very, very good. Um, when you first apply it, like I just did a shot a couple sprays. You get about a good hour and a half to maybe about an hour and a half tops of projection. It's not very, very powerful for us projecting out. But um, to me, this way more gourmandish, like somewhere on the scales of like uh, mm, I would say Roka's Man, uh, Roka's Man or something like that. Got that kind of sweet vibe with it. It's real good, guys. It smells real, real good. Uh, the best time to rock this one, I said pretty much any time, casual. I'm going to wear it for my center of the night. Also, this make a good, kind of good close encounter, date night fragrance. On a night out with your wife, your girlfriend, you're going on a dinner date. You could be going out to Red Lobster, to the to a movies, or uh, steakhouse, crab house. Uh, Y'all know, um, seafood, dock, somewhere. I don't I really don't. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I'm just saying, seafood dock or uh, somewhere, you know, I don't know. But uh, oh, uh, you'll be chilling if you wear this to the mall, um, to um, just Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington, somewhere, Target. See, I mean, you could be just looking for fragrances too. You'll be smelling good with this one. Uh, it's not very light. It's kind of heavy in a way. Um, it's, this scent here probably would be more like a, a scent that, it'd be more like a thick scent. It's something, something smells similar to it. I'm trying to put my hands on exactly what it is. It ain't no real light fragrance. It's, it's kind of thick. But it, it, it's more gourmandish, but it'll it be one of those type of scents that are, uh, that'll leave a, like a thick scent cloud around you. Not saying it wouldn't be not real up in your face projector like Jakar Noor or nothing like that, the original Jakar. But it, it, it'd be like a, it'll leave a thick sillage around you because of the, it's slightly sweet. Smells real good. Make an excellent date night scent. You'll get tons of compliments with it. Victory Lee. I know a lot of y'all probably know about this one. Um, it's probably around 10 or 12 bucks. I wouldn't be surprised if it's 15 now because the way stuff is just going up. You know, stuff ain't cheap as it used to be. So a bottle of this might cost you 10 or $15 now, you know. So it ain't nothing too cheap these days. Really not now. So what used to be cheap really ain't so cheap. Not like it used to be, and y'all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, this bottle of cologne now might cost you 12 to 15 bucks, you know. So, 
you know. Two, three years ago, it might have cost you eight dollars, you know. <laughs> Just stuff has really gone up within the last couple of years since the pandemic, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, y'all give it a try. If you never smell it, I recommend it. If you're into like Swedish garments type fragrances, niche or whatever, um, it's really kind of like a garmonish. Give me that garmon vibe. Smell good though. Hit that subscribe, y'all. Stay tuned for my next one. I'm out. Peace.